Hi, I am Sonia and I am here with something I'm really excited for. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I am in the process of I'm getting all new makeup and skincare. I'm looking for all products that are vegan and of course cruelty free. Um, and I kind of splurged a little bit and I bought some goodies from Target. I have two bags from Target here with some fun goodies that I picked up. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got and try them out at the same time. So let's get in the bags. So one bag is lips, one bag is for eyes. So what should we start with, lips or eyes? Mm. Let's do lips because my lips feel dry. And I have a little Starbucks here. Mm -mm -mm. So there's four items in here and I'll just do a random grab and we'll see what we have first. The first thing we have is Elf Calm Balm. Calm Balm. So this is Elf Calm Balm. Calm Balm. And it says it's um, plus hemp derived cannabis and it has a little cruelty free sign there. Oh, it says cruelty free and vegan. We love that. I'm like desperately trying to find some good lip products. Um, just to wear like all the time. Not necessarily even lipstick, although I love a good lipstick. And here it is. It has a little elf there. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so you open it. I thought this was all product, but that's like the little tube. You roll it up. You see it? All right. It doesn't smell like anything at all. All right, let me move my mirror. Oh, that feels really nice. Oh, I like this. Oh, that goes on so nice. It like glides on. My lips don't feel waxy at all. Oh, I really, really like this. <gasps> this might be Oh, I, I think I might have found the one. This might be the one. So let's go to the next lip product. I'm probably gonna have to wipe this lip product off to try the next one. Okay. See? And we have, oh, okay. So I got a few e.l.f. items because I love e.l.f. because like so far with everything I'm finding, I'm finding I love a lot of e.l.f. makeup because it's affordable, you can get it easily like you're shopping at Target you can just pick up elf and everything with elf is vegan and cruelty free and so far I'm loving all of the elf makeup I didn't think I would I've had a couple like uh, like the elf foundation I didn't love the scent with it but for the most part everything works really good and it's so affordable but okay so this is elf lick lip <laughs> cannot talk elf lip lacquer and it's clear. So I wanted like a clear gloss. So let's try this out. It has like this weird like loopy thing up at the top. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my lips. I didn't wanna wipe them off, that felt good. Let's just open this up. There, it's just like a nice clear, oh. <laughs> this like little like felty part that has the product you apply with it's like really bendy it smells good it just smells like um I don't know it reminds me of something conditioning but it's it feels good I mean it feels good my lips feel good doesn't feel sticky like this is a good lip gloss I like this oh elf so far two for two so let's go with another one let's go for another one all right two more products in my little Target drive up bag okay. and another did I get all elf I think all the lip products I think everything I got is elf this is like an elf target haul. All right, so this is, show it to you. It's elf hydrating core lip shine. 
says it's delightful. And, oh, is that the color? Delightful. I think that's what it says. Okay, so there it is. And I remember when I got it, it has like this cute little heart in the center. Isn't that cute? All right, let me wipe off my lips. Like these products feel good. I don't really want to wipe them off because they feel so good. All right, this doesn't really smell like, it's so cute though. I love that heart. Okay, let's try it. Oh, that feels good too. Oh, that feels really good. And I think it's just like a slight little tint. So it's not like super pigmented, but it just has like a nice little tint to it. Oh, this is nice too. And I'll put a link for all the products in the description. Okay, Elf 343. Three. Like, I love these lip products. Like, they feel so good. Last one. And we have, oh, this is just like the clear lip gloss. I just wanted to get one with a color as well. Um, so, so this is the Elf Lip, lip Lacquer. And the color is Wild Rose. All right, so let me wipe my lips off. I really like that. I like that like little slight color and my lips feel good. Ah, and it doesn't feel waxy at all. All right, let's try another one. All right, so let's see. All right, let's put some on my hand. So that looks like a little bit more like a coral, which I don't love coral color. So I think I was hoping for more of a pink. I have a little mirror here. Oh, but it looks pinky. Oh, that's like a really nice like soft pink it looks really good I really really like that I feel so happy so elf got four out of four on all of the lippies so I have all four of these lippies let's see all four they all look really good I love all four of them um so we'll see how they feel like a stand uh, test of time but I like them so Let's do the eyes now. So I um, did my whole face. I'm just gonna add some more makeup on for camera so you can see my makeup a little bit better. I'm just gonna update my blush. I like always think that if you have like, if you feel tired or you think you look tired, add more blush on. That's just what you do. It always just like, Add some sunshine. There. Just woke me right up. So, um, I haven't done my eyes at all, including my eyebrows. I just did my foundation, my blush, and all of that because so far I only have two eyeshadow palettes. I have this KVD palette, which I love. I love, love, love. I keep going to this one. I haven't used all the colors yet, um, which I need to. I need to like try some more of them and I love this palette because the whole thing's recyclable you can um, actually use a wet brush and use these wet or dry it's so cool um, I love this palette it's like it's such a great purchase so this was the KVD one but I got this one from Pacifica and I've tried it twice now and um, I just don't like it um, I felt like I got too much fallout I didn't feel like the colors were easy to blend um, I just did not have fun. I mean, you can even see the fallout from one color to the next right here. It's just, it's, it, this was kind of a fail product, which made me sad. I was so excited for this and the colors look so pretty, but I wasn't happy. So I needed another eyeshadow palette and I was going to order some from Ulta and um, Target was having a special that if you bought online $30 
worth of cosmetics that you would get a free e.l.f. little mini mascara. That has to be mailed to me, so I haven't gotten that yet. Um, but I'm like, twist my arm, and I wanted to get some lip products, so I got these lip products, and I'm like, might as well throw in an eyeshadow palette, because I need one, and why not get the free mascara, right? We have our next bag, and in here, we have, first and foremost, another e.l.f. product. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow product, uh, palette. And I thought this one was so beautiful. It says 18 Hit Wonders Eyeshadow Palette. Like, I just love the colors. I love bright colors. And when I saw how bright the colors were, and I'm like, there's a lot of different colors. And so far, I'm just loving all the e.l.f. products I keep using. So I'm like, let's give it a try. Here we go. Look how pretty they all are. Like, so, so pretty. Okay. Now, what I also bought though, because my <laughs> brushes need to be cleaned desperately, so I'm like, might as well buy some new brushes too. <laughs> so I picked up this eyeshadow brush um, set, and it's from e.l.f. This was called, I think it's called the Smoky Eye Eye Brush Kit. Um, it was only like $12. And it's all vegan, of course, because it's e.l.f. So I thought, why not just grab it and try it? So let's try it. Let's try to throw this uh, eyeshadow on and just see what happens, right? Let's take out the brushes. Okay, so first we have the fluffy eye blender. And we have the blender. And we have the C eye brush. And we have the small precision. And last is the small angled. So, and they're nice and lightweight and they feel good. So we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I don't know if I'll use them the way that they're intended to be used, but whatever. I'm no makeup expert, but I know enough to know. Use the brushes. There's intended ways to use the brushes, but you use them in a way that makes you feel happy, so. All right, so let's check out these colors. This is the electric blue. Look how pretty that is. And then there's this royal. It's pretty. Ooh, there's one called Candy. It's really pretty. <gasps> danger. Look at Danger. That's so pretty. There's this Vibrant. It looks silvery. And I love silver eyeshadow. I just love silver eyeshadow. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to start with this one called Peachy right here. And I'm just going to put that like in my crease kind of. And I'm just gonna use this, I think it's the fluffy blender. Okay, we'll just go for it. Ooh, this is really pigmented. My first inclination is, is that I don't love this brush, but it's just because it's not what I'm used to. While I'm loving these brushes, I'm like kind of confused completely on how to use them. So I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. It just came from a set and I really like it and I'm gonna use that um, in conjunction with these brushes, even though this one's a little dirty, but I'm gonna go for it. And I think, I think I'm gonna go for these two colors here. And I think those are the ones I'm gonna use um, since I don't know how pigmented this is, I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and I'm just going to go in the outer corner and we're just going to see what happens. I really like that color. It's not as pink as I thought.
I'm just gonna switch over to the one in the bottom corner there. That's danger. The one I was using was candy. We can clean it up a little bit. And I really like this brush. This is pretty blendable and it feels pretty good. There's this one called Shade. It seems kind of dark, but I'm gonna try to lightly put some on just to kind of help transition. Hold on. There we go. To just kind of transition and kind of blend it out a little bit more. So I'm just putting a little bit there. I sometimes think when I'm doing my eye makeup, I'm like, oh, this looks horrible. But you can always, it, you have to wait for the whole process and it all always comes together. There's this one called Pave. I really want to use this silver one, but I think I'm going to go with the Pave. But I'm not getting a lot of fallout, which is really, really nice. It's just kind of staying where I put it. And it blends really easy. I mean, it feels really pretty good. I'm gonna try to, actually I'm gonna switch to my eyebrows. I'm gonna clean them up. I feel like I wanna do more on my eyes before I clean everything up and I don't know what I want to do though. Like, I feel like I want to use like one of these like purpley colors, just kind of add to it just for fun. Maybe I'll use the velvet. I really like that purple and I'm glad I added it to it. I kind of wish I would have just gone with the purple to begin with. much better. I feel like it just like looks a ton better. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more. Oh that purple really helped it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of the silver right in the center. And I kind of messed it up. I keep messing it up. It may not be my best eye look, but I have to tell you, I'm really happy with this palette. Like, I really like it. And I really like these, um, I like these brushes. Like, I really love this brush, the C, the C brush. I like it a lot. So I'm just gonna use some of my foundation. It's the KVD True Portrait Foundation. You have to shake it. And I have a mirror for my palette that I'm using right now. And I just put a little dot on the mirror. I love this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer with a matte finish. I love this concealer. So I'm just gonna, I put them both on there and I'm just gonna mix the two up. Just mixing up a little concoction. And I have this cute little flat angled brush that I'm gonna load it up on both sides, on both sides and I'm gonna use it to clean up the area. And then I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes a little bit. I actually really 
really like that. So I kind of use this gold, this is from my old company I was with, gold eyeliner just in my waterline because I felt like that red got there and made my eyes look like red and bloodshot. So just adding that in just kind of lightened them. And I don't usually contour my nose, but I saw a trick somebody did with it. I'm like, wow, that really does make my nose look different, but I do feel like it makes it look dirty. I don't know. I need to keep practicing. This obviously isn't the channel for anybody who's looking to learn from like a complete beauty expert. I'm learning as I go, so. Okay, so I have this little like mini black eyeliner. I think this is, this is the Cake Pencil from KVD. It's in Trooper Black. So there it is. So I'm going to use this on my tight line. And I love to do your tight line with it, especially when you have a hooded eye because it just makes the eyelashes pop out. I really like this pencil. Like it goes on really smooth. I really love the KVD products I've been getting. There. And this is uh, uh, mascara I've been using like crazy. It's the KVD Go Big or Go Home mascara. Let's just. Let's just go ahead and add on some highlighter. This is KVD's um, Hylographic palette. I love these and they're super shiny. So we have a green one, a blue one, um, a violet one, and a pink one. I'm thinking of going with, I don't know, let's just go with the pink. I know this may not be the best one to use on my nose, but I like it. I never contour my nose like this. I feel like my nose is sticking out even more now. <laughs> all right, so while I do love all of these lips, they're all kind of light, and I think I want to do something a little bit bolder, and this is NYX lip liner. Not the best at lining. I think I'm gonna use this KVD color. Okay, so yeah, this is the KVD Lolita. And then let's just use this e.l.f. Um, gloss over the top. Right. I'm done with my look. Yay! <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. I actually am so happy with so much of this. So I used a ton of e.l.f. products and I really do like this palette. I used one, two, three, four, five colors out of here 
and um, I loved them. I didn't get any fallout. They stayed put where I put them and I can come back later and do um, a quick follow up so that way you can see how it looks, how it stayed. Um, but everything I used, I love these lippies that I got. I cannot wait to keep using them and see how they do. But all in all, I really, really, really enjoyed that palette. I enjoyed those brushes. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. This is what I'm going to be wearing around the house because I don't usually wear makeup around the house. So I'm excited to try this and use this around the house on my lips. Um, but I will come back and let you guys have an update on how everything went with this look, how the eyeshadow lasted. Hey, I'm back to give you an update on the makeup. And as you can see, it all still looks really well. I had a dance party with my kids, you know, did all of this different stuff. I have to be honest, I didn't give as long of a wear test as I have other times, but this has still been, you know, a couple hours and like I said, dancing and all sorts of stuff. And it's all still there. There's no creasing, there's no lift at all. Like. It's all still there. I don't have on the lipstick still. I took that off because I don't usually wear lipstick around the house, but I've been testing this out and I love it. I seriously love, love, love this. Um, I love anything that has like a slight little lip tint and is moisturizing and this definitely is. It feels so good on my lips and I seriously do love that little heart. So I am just blown away by e.l.f. makeup. Um, so far everything I've used, I've pretty much loved. Like I said, the one exception is this e.l.f. foundation and the foundation was a perfect match. It wore well, it was easy to apply. Um, the only thing I didn't like was it has some sort of a fragrance to it. And if it wasn't for that fragrance, this would be a go-to for me for sure. But besides that, I've loved everything I've tried and what I really love is that all of the makeup is affordable. Like it's really easy. You can get it when you're out at Target making a Target run um, and I really love that. That it's just easy to pick up and go and it's all vegan. So overall I love it. I think this was totally a great palette. Tune in to see what I try next and please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, watch as many of my videos as you can, share them with your friends, comment with other products you think I should try. Um, just the more love you give me, the better it'll really help me out since I'm small and new. But thanks so much and I'll see you next time.